In 2013, Voyager 1 achieved a historic milestone of becoming the first ever human-made object to enter interstellar space, accomplishing this feat 36 years after its departure from Earth. The space probe now resides an astonishing 14.5 billion miles away from Earth. As a result, the transmission and reception of messages require nearly two days, specifically 20 hours and 33 minutes. While NASA's engineers never could have anticipated that Voyager 1 would continue its space exploration for nearly half a century, the sophisticated instrument has done it again. This time, it has detected 500 unidentified objects passing by in space. Now, world-famous podcaster Joe Rogan has joined the conversation, shedding light on the alarming implications of this extraordinary discovery. What are these mysterious objects? Could they be the handiwork of extraterrestrial beings or a malfunction on the spacecraft? Join us as we explore how Voyager 1 detected 500 unknown objects passing through space and discover Joe Rogan's thoughts on this astounding discovery. The Pentagon officially released UFO videos. This is the tweet. The Pentagon formally released three mysterious UFO videos captured by Navy pilots. The already leaked video showed what the DoD insists on calling unidentified aerial phenomena, moving at incredible speeds and performing near-impossible maneuvers. Ever wondered why, despite the unimaginable vastness of the cosmos, we haven't stumbled upon concrete proof of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations? This dilemma is called the Fermi Paradox and it has been a captivating mystery for scientists for centuries. However, a recent extraordinary encounter in deep space has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, potentially shedding light on the age-old question of the existence of aliens. Joe Rogan, a prominent commentator and podcast host known for his keen interest in discussing aliens and the possibility of advanced civilizations, has previously hosted guests such as David Grush and Avi Loeb to explore the potential for life beyond Earth. Now. New data from Voyager may first hold the key to answering the question of whether we are truly alone in the universe. Buckle up, as we will expose why Joe Rogan's announcement about Voyager 1 detecting 500 unidentified objects passing through space is a game-changer, and how it affects you regardless of where you are in the world. But before we get into those juicy details, let's find out how the groundbreaking Voyager 1 mission was born in the first place. Isn't it mind-boggling to think that our magnificent Earth with its vast oceans and towering mountains, is just a tiny speck in the grandeur of the universe? Philosophers have pondered this fact for centuries, but it wasn't until the 1970s that NASA scientists had the opportunity to truly grasp the scale of our cosmic neighborhood. And it all began with an accidental alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, the four largest planets in our solar system. In the midst of this celestial dance, a young PhD student named Gary Flandreau, working part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory while pursuing his studies at the California Institute of Technology, stumbled upon a remarkable discovery. Through his meticulous calculations and charting of the orbital paths of these giant planets, Flandreau unearthed a celestial phenomenon that would change the course of space exploration. What Flandreau found was simply awe-inspiring. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, the four planets would align in a mesmerizing formation resembling pearls on a cosmic necklace, with Earth nestled among them. This discovery sent ripples of excitement through NASA, as it presented an unprecedented opportunity to optimize the trajectory of a space probe. By cleverly utilizing the gravitational pull of each planet during flybys, a spacecraft could harness a speed boost, akin to being tugged by an invisible cosmic cord that propels it forward. Flandreau's estimations suggested that these gravity assists from the giant planets could shrink the flight time between Earth and Neptune from a daunting 30 years to a mere 12 years. But there was a catch. This celestial alignment occurred only once every 176 years. Recognizing the significance of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, NASA embarked on an ambitious mission to capitalize on the planetary alignment. Two spacecraft, christened Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, were developed with identical designs and purposes. Launched just 15 days apart in the summer of 1977, these twin explorers were set on a course to unravel the mysteries of the solar system and venture into interstellar space. Voyager 1, launched on September 5, 1977, became an integral part of the Voyager space program, a testament to humanity's insatiable curiosity and our quest for knowledge. For nearly five decades, 
this brave traveler has forged ahead, beaming back invaluable data to Earth through NASA's Deep Space Network. It has become our eyes and ears in the vastness of space, bridging the gap between our terrestrial existence and the mysteries that lie beyond. As we marvel at Voyager 1's extraordinary journey, it's worth noting that its distance from Earth is nothing short of mind-blowing. As of August 2023, the space probe is situated an astonishing 24 billion kilometers away, making it the farthest man-made object from our planet. Voyager 1 was meticulously designed and constructed by the brilliant minds at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and embarked on its historic odyssey from Launch Complex 41 at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, propelled by a Titan IIE launch vehicle. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, the recent revelation unfolded. Now, let's delve into the remarkable expedition that led to the discovery of 500 previously unknown objects passing through space and the fascinating revelation Joe Rogan provides in a recent episode of The Joe Rogan Podcast. How did Voyager 1 succeed in its journey through space? And what special scientific instruments and subsystems were behind such success? Imagine a man-made space explorer venturing into the great unknown, conquering the forces of deep space for decades and decades. That's Voyager 1 for you. This brave spacecraft has already journeyed a mind-boggling 14.5 billion miles away from our home planet, Earth. Just try to wrap your head around that for a moment. It's like traveling a distance that is approximately 3.6 times the span between the Earth and the Sun every single year. But Voyager 1 is not just about its velocity, longevity, and distance. It has also gifted us with groundbreaking revelations, including its recent discovery of 500 unknown objects lurking out there in the vastness of space. These celestial entities are like nothing we've ever seen or identified before. It's a cosmic treasure trove of mysterious wonders, and we're about to dive into the details of this awe-inspiring revelation. Now, you're probably wondering how a spacecraft that was launched way back in 1977 can still be operational and deliver such mind-blowing information. Well, the answer lies in the remarkable engineering and foresight behind its creation. The design of Voyager 1 is remarkable, and one of the key secrets to its longevity is the presence of dual-redundant computer systems. Both Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, were equipped with two sets of command computer subsystems, the flight data subsystems, FDS, and the Altitude and Articulation Control Subsystems, ACS. This redundancy was a stroke of genius, ensuring smooth transitions between systems and the ability to activate dormant computer components when needed, effectively extending their lifespan. The computer systems aboard these Voyager spacecraft were organized as a distributed system with three dual-redundant pairs of computers. This clever arrangement ensured that even if one system failed, the other could seamlessly take over, preventing any mission-critical failures. To make the most efficient use of limited power resources, Voyager instruments relied on hardwired logic. In other words, the computer systems were designed with simplified hardwired circuits that operated within the constraints of power budgets and time limitations during the spacecraft's development. Power management is a crucial element for maintaining the operational integrity of Voyager 1. Since the spacecraft's distance from the sun prevents it from harnessing solar energy, Engineers had to come up with innovative ways to conserve and optimize power usage. Their strategies are truly extraordinary. Selective power shutdowns of non-essential systems play a pivotal role in power management. Engineers meticulously evaluate which components or subsystems are not vital for the primary mission objectives. For example, heaters associated with certain scientific instruments have been deactivated originally meant to maintain instruments at specific temperatures for optimal performance, these heaters, when turned off, significantly reduce power consumption, thereby extending the spacecraft's overall lifespan. But don't think for a moment that the decision to power down non-essential systems is taken lightly. It involves careful evaluation of the trade-offs between power conservation and the scientific objectives of the mission. Engineers work hand-in-hand -hand with scientists to ensure that deactivating specific systems doesn't compromise the quality and availability of scientific data. The goal is to strike a delicate balance that maximizes power efficiency while maintaining essential functionality. Here's the fascinating part. Voyager 1's power management strategies adapt to the changing conditions of its environment. As the spacecraft journeys farther away from the sun, 
the available solar energy decreases. However, Voyager 1 adjusts its power usage accordingly, ensuring that the available resources are efficiently allocated to support critical operations and data transmission. It's like a smart energy saving mode that kicks in automatically. Over the years, there have been remarkable technical advancements and improvements in power management techniques. Engineers have honed and optimized the power systems of the Voyager probes, implementing upgrades such as more efficient power distribution, improved battery charging methods, and advancements in power regulation and control. Thanks to these meticulous power management strategies, Voyager 1 has defied all expectations. It keeps on going, still sending back invaluable information almost half a century after its launch. This power management approach also enables Voyager 1 to continue its pioneering journey into interstellar space, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and providing us with awe-inspiring discoveries, such as the recent detection of 500 unknown objects. Now, let's pivot to the latest revelations regarding Voyager 1 and its remarkable detection of 500 unidentified objects passing through space. This event has captured the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts worldwide, sparking discussions about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Imagine the excitement when Voyager 1, an instrument of humanity's curiosity, picked up these mysterious objects in the vast expanse of space. But what are they? Are they signs of alien civilizations? Or is there another explanation? The detection of these 500 unknown objects passing through space has the potential to reshape our understanding of the cosmos. These objects, which have remained unidentified, challenge our current knowledge of the universe and raise profound questions about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. It's a momentous occasion that underscores the significance of space exploration and the endless possibilities that lie beyond our reach. The objects detected by Voyager 1's onboard instruments have not yet been fully identified, but their discovery has sparked intense speculation within the scientific community. Some experts believe these objects could be remnants of ancient celestial bodies while others theorize they might be signs of advanced alien technology. Joe Rogan's take on this discovery is particularly intriguing. He has been known for his open-minded discussions on the possibility of extraterrestrial life and his willingness to explore unconventional theories. In a recent episode of his podcast, Rogan delved into the potential implications of these unidentified objects, questioning whether they could be evidence of intelligent alien civilizations. Rogan's fascination with UFOs and extraterrestrial life is well documented. He has interviewed prominent figures in the field, including former government officials and researchers who claim to have insider knowledge of classified information related to UFOs. His discussion of Voyager 1's latest discovery aligns with his ongoing interest in uncovering the truth about what lies beyond our planet. As we await further analysis and data from Voyager 1's discovery, one thing is certain the universe continues to surprise us. The detection of 500 unknown objects passing through space is a testament to the endless mysteries that await our exploration. Whether these objects are natural phenomena, remnants of ancient civilizations, or something entirely beyond our current understanding, they serve as a reminder that the cosmos is vast, complex, and filled with the unknown. So, as we embark on this journey of discovery, Guided by the curiosity of individuals like Joe Rogan and the groundbreaking technology of Voyager 1, let's keep our minds open to the possibilities that lie ahead. The universe is a boundless frontier, and with each new revelation, we inch closer to unlocking its deepest secrets. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.